Thor News presents the strange minimal solar maximum that is double peaked. We're watching the heavens for signs because it's what we like to do. It's been a very active, very strange solar maximum. Yesterday when I was driving home, I had to get out of my car and stop and videotape the sun because it looked so unusually large. Now I know the sun is massive, but it looked more massive than usual. It's huge. And then I get home and check out NASA's cameras and it's like one of the biggest coronal mass ejections I've seen in a long, long time. I thought it was funny. The powers that be have been saying that this is a very low solar maximum. Something unexpected is happening on the sun. 2013 is supposed to be the year of solar max, the peak of the 11-year sunspot cycle. Yet, 2013 has arrived and solar activity is relatively low. Sunspot numbers are well below their values in 2011 and strong solar flares have been infrequent for many months. They started out by saying that this solar cycle was low. Solar activity is lower than expected. This was going to be a very calm, a minimal solar maximum. Minimal solar maximum. I've been quietly disagreeing to myself. Thor abides. NASA was even saying on Space.com, the sun's peak of solar activity this year will be the quietest seen in at least 100 years. The sun's 2013 solar storm peak expected to hit century low. One dude from NASA even goes as far to say that the sun could not destroy Earth, which is fucking hilarious. And then the Geico lizard backed him up. The facts are correct. We have been in a minimal maximum and that the number of sunspots is low and the amount of X and M class solar flares is low. I don't know if you watch the sun, but I do. If you ask Thor, there's been a lot of activity, a lot of freakish activity, dark explosions, all the activity on the non earth facing side that once it turns away from our planet, then it goes nuts. There are fewer sunspots or even solar spot flares X and M class, but in overall activity, and sometimes downright WTF, did the sun just do this? In filaments feeling off, in filaments peeling off, in uh, changes, rapid growths upon the sun, things moving from one place to another. If you ask Thor, activity itself on the sun has been very high. There's been a lot of filaments popping off, bubbles on the sun, things moving around. There's been a lot of activity, but that's what they've been saying, that we've been in a minimal maximum. And then NASA changed the tune to, it's a double peaked solar maximum. Solar max could be double peaked. The quiet has led some observers to wonder if forecasters missed the mark. Solar physicist Dean Pesnell of the Goddard Space Flight Center has a different explanation. This is solar maximum, he suggests, but it looks different from what we expected because it is double peaked. Minimal solar cycle is double peaked. I mean, which is it? Is it a slow solar maximum? Is it a minimal solar maximum? Is it a strange solar maximum? Or is it a strange double peak solar maximum has minimal spots of maximum activity? I mean, anytime you see data like this, that's always weird. And it's always got a smiley face in it. They may say it's a minimal double peaked solar max, but I say don't water down my world with words and generalizations, man. Just because you're going to tell me what a cloud is doesn't mean a cloud is less cool as a cloud cloud or whatever. Reality, however, is more complicated. The Thor abides. We're watching the heavens for signs because it's what we like to do. And this on top of the news that giant comet could hit Mars causing a 1 billion megaton explosion. Crazy. These are crazy times. You got the Pope stepping down. You got pan stars and lemons in the horizon. You got Comet Ison, the biggest comet the world's ever seen, coming up soon. It's some crazy shit. So just keep a watch. Things are stranger than ever. I watch the sun because if you want to know what's going on in the rest of the universe, it is the number one source of instant information. The sun is totally free. So I stay tuned. I guess the Indians used to do that too. Here's the alignment of the day. I wonder if Sirius and Vesta could ever hit each other. Did you know they are planets? Double peaked. It's a cloud cloud. And like a good screener, I keep an eye and an ear down to the ground on the tinfoil hat tribe. And they got an eye on March 22nd, 23rd. Oh, really? Double peaked. It's a cloud cloud. Oh, really?